back back to Dubsy Bricks for another episode of Building Gotham City in Lego and work continues this week on the Monarch Theatre and I want to try and work on the front section just here I'm not happy with how this goes from here to here so I want to change that over and I may very well have it so that the wall goes up to the same height all the way along here so it's the same as this another part i want to work on is this section here where it's going to be advertising what's showing in the theater get all of the walls put around the back and the side here and then start doing the interior of this floor just getting the layout right got to decide what color to tile the floor off in there if i can't work out what color it is i'm just going to leave it blank for the time being and do that later and then what i want to do is get the next floor all started and start working on the design of the walls that are going at the top there not sure what color to go for i am thinking that it might be nice to have it in a light tan color just to give it a change as opposed to just going up with the dark tan i think the dark tan it might just look a little bit too boring going up there but anyway without further ado let's get the bricks and plates out get some tiles out and let's get started and I've changed the design of this front section just here. Previously, I had this part on and I was using a lot of these modified plates here, the rounded ones. However, it wasn't, I don't think it was lining up perfectly. I had to have them at very slightly different angles on each end. And I was just a little bit concerned about how strong it was going to be, what it would look like when it's all built up. So I experimented with some hinge pieces and I've actually put them them into the wall there and actually works out the perfect size for this it's not stud account which isn't a problem at all so all i need to do now is just build the wall up around the edge here put uh, some snot bricks in with a white plate on the background then that's what i can put the film advertisement on then i can also put a hinge piece on the top and that's going to be nice and strong and we're not going to have the problems of the other design so let's make those changes build that wall up and uh, see how it comes out and a little bit more progress has been made to the next floor. The front section here, I've put the white plate in there all ready for the tiles to advertise what's being shown. Once I put the letters on that, I will tile all the way around the letters. So it's a nice smooth finish. But due to the fact that the tiles are circular, you are still going to be able to see in between them. So I did want to make sure that it was white behind there. Now I put the profile bricks on here just to give it a little bit more texture and, and tiled off all the way around the top. Now, one thing is I haven't worked out exactly how I'm going to be doing the inside of this, what I want to be putting in here. One thing I can put in straight away is the elevator. I know that's obviously going here and I need to work out where I'm going to be putting the steps. Once I've done that, I can then do the plate that's going to be going on here ready for the next floor. But I need to put those parts in first just so I can work out where the hole needs to be in the floor. And there we have the floor all in place and I'm overhanging it by the one stud all the way around these edges here it's flush on the back two sides there now what i'm considering doing is having some pillars and then offsetting the wall by half stud going back and it's going to all be in the tan color so i'm thinking about using two by two bricks and then using the masonry bricks offset by the half stud and they're going to be turned around so it's the same effect as you have just here so i'm just going to experiment with it see how it looks and uh, yeah we'll go from there here we have it the walls they're going up Got two different options here. This one is flush with the plate. This one here is one stud back. And I am thinking I prefer that section there. And it's quite strange building, uh, making a building this big with no windows in it. This floor here, I did put some in originally. However, they didn't look right with the design I had on there. So I opted against that. This floor up here, obviously, you won't have them because that's where the actual theatre or the cinema is going to be. And down the bottom, I prefer to have the pattern on the wall as opposed to the windows. So the only window pieces are going to be in the doors down the bottom there. So one thing I am considering doing now is changing these plates on the edge here from light bluish grey to dark bluish grey. So these are going to look a little bit tidier and match in with the brickwork below that a little bit better. So I'm going to make that change first of all. And then I'm going to work on the centre section just here. And I'm going to have a look at putting the cone pieces in, as you see in the Tim Burton Batman film. I think it might look quite cool having something different on there and also something that reminds you of that film. Anyway, let's make those changes to the walls. Push this one back by the one stud. And once I've done all that, I'll check back in and and the experimenting continues with the upper wall here. I've swapped the pillars over on this side over to the dark bluish grey just to try and break the tan up a little bit. However, I'm not convinced by the look of it. I don't know whether it's what I'm actually after. So I'm going to change it all back to the tan effect. But there is something about this. I feel it just needs something a little bit extra on there somewhere along the lines. It's just a little bit too boring looking, I think. 
I'm sure we'll come up with a solution eventually. But anyway, let's change these back to tan. Carry on putting them all the way around the back as well. Put a row of bricks all the way around the top, and then I can work on this final section just here. And a little bit more progress has been made on the front of the building here. The walls have all been built up here, and as you can see, I've made a start on the cone effect. So I've put some slopes in here, which then we have a hole in the wall. Then it's enabled me to push the cone part way in so it doesn't stick out all the way. What is it looked flat from when you're looking from this angle here, if that makes sense. There is a plate on the top here. Now that's just to keep everything flush with the wall and so it doesn't tilt forward. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace the plate directly above that with another one as this is obviously inverted. Then I have the studs pointing upwards Then I can carry on building the cylinders going up the top of the wall there. And I think that's going to look quite good. Now, one thing I'm still not sold on are these walls just here. Now I have done masonry bricks on this side and on the other one it is the masonry bricks reversed. And I really don't like that. So that's got to change. It's almost certainly going to be going with this one here. Now, part of me likes the idea of having the plain walls at the top as you've got a lot of a lot going on down the bottom here so i don't want it to be too chaotic this is going to be breaking up nicely i wasn't sure if i needed some gray just around this section here as a like almost like a border for that section but again i'm just gonna have a think about it but one thing i am going to try and do is have it so there's a sign coming out of both sections of the wall here so it says monarch going downwards now, i haven't got any more of these tiles so i would need to order them in but i can put the sign in there ready for the tiles and just see how that looks and hopefully that's going to be the finishing touch that breaks up all of the tan on that top section and there are the two signs all ready for the tiles to write monarch going down on there and i think once the tiles are on there that's going to finish that wall off really nicely especially once i've got the cylinders on top of the cones and the third one in there i think the top section of this will have the look that i'm after and i don't think it's going to require much more to get that all finished once you put the tiles along here change these light bluish gray ones to dark i think that's going to do quite a lot and also once there's some black on the right in there as well with the what's being shown in the theater that's also going to have quite a big effect on the building there's not going to be any updates over the next couple of weeks as i'm actually on holiday there will be a couple of mandalore videos coming out that have already been recorded. These, there's the final update that led to the finale, and then there's also a reverse time lapse of the destruction of Mandalore and uh, cinematic. So there is going to be, still be a couple of videos coming on the channel uh, whilst I'm away. In regards to the Lego room, there's some good news on that side. The plasterer came along yesterday, and he set up ready to do the plastering tomorrow. The window and door company, they got in touch with me today to say they're coming out next week to fit the windows and doors. But unfortunately, I'm on holiday, so I won't be here for to, to, to them to do that. So it'll be when I get back in a couple of weeks' time. But the good thing is, in about four weeks' time, I'm hoping I will have it all decorated out there and be setting the tables up ready for the new Gotham City. And it's going to be so cool getting these buildings out there. We're going to have almost twice as much room as the old Lego room. So there's a lot of potential for some really cool builds to go in there. The train line's going to be good. I'm really excited for what's going to happen there. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this update. If you have, please remember to give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content on the channel. And if you know anybody else you think would be interested in building Gotham, if you could share the channel with them, it'd be much appreciated. Anyway, thanks for popping on by and I'll see you next time.